Welcome back everyone. In this video, I will discuss about observable list in Flutter Mobex. It is similar to the list of Dart, but it is special because it automatically notifies the observer when the list changes. Now let me show you practically. Here I have created this project and in the pubspec.yml, as you can see, I have taken the dependency get it, Mobex, Flutter Mobex and in the div dependencies, I have taken build runner and Mobex code gen. After that, in the terminal, I have run the command dart run build runner watch. And in the main dot dart here, I have created, as you can see that uh, this my app is using this task list screen. And this task list screen is consisting of this text field and an icon button. And later on here, I will add a list view. If I run this, then we will get output like this. My requirement is that whenever I will add a task here or type a type task here and if I click on this plus button then that particular task should be added to the list view. How we can achieve this with the help of observable list that portion I will discuss. To achieve this inside the leaf folder I will create a new folder named as store and inside this store here I will create a class named as task store. So first of all let me create a file task store dot dot and here I will create the abstract class task store with store and here I will use observable list and here I will give the name or I can specify the type also here uh, let the type be string and I will give the name as task equals to let me copy this paste it here and that's it. So we have created the observable list after that here I will create a action and I will give the name as add task and this add task will take uh, input string let me give the name as task and whenever this function will be called then this task will be added to this observable list and to add that I will simply call tasks dot add and after that this particular task. So this particular action will be used to add the task to the list similarly to remove the task from the list here I will create another action and I will give the name as remove task. And here I will pass the index and I will remove task dot remove at and after that here I will pass the index okay so here we have created two action methods now class task store equals to and let me give this name as this task store with this and here I need to use part task store dot g dot dot okay so everything is correct so this task store dot g dot dot file is created right now let me move to main dot dot and here I will use get it dependency injection. So here I need to write get it dot instance dot register lazy singleton and after that the store which we have created that is task store right now I will move to this task list screen here and here I will create a variable final task store equals to get it dot instance then here I will use task store
and that is it. Now, this const is not required, this const is not required. Here we have this text editing controller. Now, I will move to this icon button means whenever I will type here and I will click on this icon at that time the task should be added to the list view and to do that here I will use task store dot add task and after that here I will pass the task controller dot text and once this method is called after that I need to clear the text box also that is why here I have used task controller dot clear. Now once it is added I need to display that into the list view. So here I need to create the list view as well. So here what I will do I will use expanded widget and as a child of this expanded I will use list view dot builder. And after that, first of all, here I will use item count. And in the item count, I can write task store dot tasks dot length. Now I will use item builder. And in this item builder here, what I will do is that I will return a list style. And to this list style as a title here I will use text widget and in this text widget here I will use task store dot tasks of index ok and here I will use a trailing widget to delete the task. So, I need to use icon button and in this on pressed I will write the code later on and in this icon here I can use icon then icons dot delete right now let me put a semicolon here and in this on press now I need to delete so to delete I can easily write task store dot remove task and after that I will pass the index and after that this list view dot builder should be wrapped with observer. Now let me add the const modifier here. Now let me do a hot restart. Now let me show you the output. Now suppose here I am adding a task. This is flutter mobex. And if I click on this plus then you can see the task is added here. After that I will write go series coming after mobex. Now if I click here once again then this is also added and if I want to delete any task then I will simply click here and the task will be deleted. This is how we can use observable list in Flutter Mobex. That's it for today's video. Thank you so much for watching.